everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, it's the beginning of December, and as you might imagine, it's kind of a busy time of year for me here in the store. And I'm trying to uh, get some things started for some build videos. But what I thought I would do is take a few minutes, because so many new kits have come out in the last uh, week or two, that what I thought I'd do is give you a quick breakdown uh, of the new kits. And some of them will break inside and we'll show you the parts and sprues and talk about them. Mainly kits that I'll probably do build videos on later on. There's some like the, uh, the 70 second scale uh, truck and pulling the bulldozer looks kind of interesting. And some of these other kits from TACOM. We've got the new Panther in from Academy, which we'll show you in depth on that. As well as some Kitty Hawk, some uh, Hobby Boss, Trumpeter, all kinds of new exciting kits. So, let's get started! Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at is the TACOM 72nd scale M1070 with the M1000 uh, trailer with a D9R bulldozer up on top of it. And I have to say, this is a perfect scale for something like this, 72nd scale, because this is such a large vehicle. Even in 35th scale, you're starting to push like three feet on it. So let's take a look at the, uh, the parts on it. First of all, we're going to take a look at is the bulldozer. And as you can see right here, the bulldozer is designed in such a way that the all the Caterpillar tracks are done as one piece, just with these outer edges right here that you need to glue into place. You've got the blade, the two different halves of the blade. That has got some really nice detail on that. And then we'll move on to some of the other parts in here that make up the bulldozer. And then we get to the wheel section here. I'm just kind of briefly going over these things right here. But now here's the trailer. So the trailer, you can see, it's probably about a little over six inches long, maybe. And so like that's the whole thing is probably going to build up just over a foot. And I think that's going to be a great size for this. Now, there is still quite a few parts in this whole vehicle because it is something that has lots and lots of road wheels, which you can see right here quite a few of those and also at the end of the of this little section right here we'll have a little breakdown of each one of the sprues and here's some more parts for the uh, for the truck and this is the other thing I want to show you got put to the bottom here these are the uh, the wheel section for the D9R and that looks just incredibly nice especially all that detail in there and plus you won't have to be gluing a whole bunch of parts together and then when it comes to the body of the D9R, there are two molded pieces. See, this will, once you knock the little little caps off there, you can see how it's going to look. And then we also have the front of the truck, the cab. Some nice little intricate detail there. We've got our road wheels. Pop that out there. Little bag of those these are ones for the the actual truck and then there's a giant bag of all the little little tiny guys for the trailer on that and the final little piece this is your frame so that too is very nicely done so uh, very nice looking kit and I'm actually anxious to get started on this kit this is something I think uh, is gonna be a fun build Thank you. 
Okay, another new kit that was just issued was the M3A1 Lee CDL. And what the CDL is, is basically they've removed the regular turret off of the uh, cast hole Lees, and they made some that had a really high-powered light inside of it. So when we look inside the kit, it is still a cast hull, just like you see right here in some of the other kits. But this right here is the new sprue that makes up the uh, the new turret with the searchlight. So there is still a gun involved with it, uh, but now you have this new light up on top of it as well. So the rest of this kit shares the parts as the, uh, the cast hull Lee that I built a while back, if you want to take a close look at those. And this kit has a retail of $45 in the United States. Now we're going to take a look at the new kit from Tacom, the 35th scale BV-206S. And this is an articulated armor personnel carrier, which you can see has a front cab, as well as this, like this rear, I'm assuming it's a storage unit back there. And I'm actually fairly excited about this is because the plan I have for doing this one is not to do it in a military color but to do it in some kind of like sci-fi kind of like arctic expedition where we paint it in like in a bright orange or a bright red or yellow or something like that that would stick out on snow and picture a diorama of it going across like a snowy snowy plain with like some kind of Ideally, it would be nice to have something like like an alien or predator type thing, but like a crashed spaceship or something that they're they're coming up upon. Uh, I think I actually want to do this one. I'll probably just go ahead and do it and paint it up in the orange and put some kind of special markings on it. But very excited about getting a hold of this one. And we're just gonna quickly look at the the, the pieces now because it's uh, kind of a, an easy to put together kit. Here is the uh, the front cab. You can see it's a tiny little thing as well as here is the, uh, the the main base for the the back unit so you can see how big the whole thing would totally turn out to be we've got our track sections here and there we go you can hopefully see some of the uh, the detail on that and then we also have the oh the the kit actually calls out too that it has an interior so I'll just kind of quickly just show you all the sprues on this set as well. And we could even put a, a machine gun mounted on the top of our Arctic Expedition vehicle. <laughs> and then we've got some pieces here. We've got the seat, the wheel, some of the suspension area. Actually two sprues of that. And some of the body components. It looks like it's got rows of seats for the back. And yeah, there's the bottoms of the seats and then the actual bases of the, of the two pieces. So it's a pretty easy, straightforward kit. You also have a, a couple of sprues of clear parts for obviously the windshield. Uh, so definitely look forward to seeing this in the near future. I've got a few projects ahead of it. And this... Okay, now we're going to take a look at... Uh, Tacom has come out with two uh, Type 94 tankettes in 16th scale. And we have the, the standard version right here, the regular Type 94. And we also have a Type 94 late production. And what we'll do is, since they're going to share primarily almost all the same parts, we're going to take a look at the late production right here. To start off, we have this big bathtub style hull, which big for other scales. I guess for 16 scale, this is pretty tiny. It's such a small little vehicle. And we're going to also take a look at the tracks here. And two types of tracks come inside. First of all, we have these individual links that you're going to have to cut off and clean up, top and bottom. But they've also gone ahead and given you these rubber band type tracks that actually are, they're molded in the same color plastic as the other ones and actually look like they're regular plastic tracks. It looks like they have some pretty decent detail in them as well. So if I do one of those, I'll probably be using those rubber bands. And then we'll start taking a look at some of the other pieces. Here's the upper part of the hull. Big giant shovel right here, and some of the other part like the exhaust, things like that. We've got our fenders, machine gun right here. That's actually very nice looking the way they've molded that. And uh, each one of the kits also comes with a 16 scale figure. And just looking quickly at it, that is not too bad looking. There's the face and body some nice detail especially right around in there with that belt that looks like that'd be fun to paint 
we have our turret here. A couple of sprues for the big giant wheel, you know, the, uh, the looks like probably the return roller or return idler on this one. And then we have some of the suspension. Here are the main wheels. You also have a, a spring that when you, once you cut it off, the way they've molded it, because it's slide molded, will actually work. That's pretty cool. So that makes up all the parts of this kit. And this kit retails in the United States for about $65. Okay, we also have another uh, new kit here from Tacom, and this is the uh, the Flak Panzer Panther, and this is a two-in-one kit. And in this kit, you can you have basically a regular Panther chassis from there down, but then you can build the two uh, different turrets, one with the uh, the Flak Ferling, the 20 millimeter quad, and the uh, Colian, the one with the 37 millimeter uh, twin on it there. And what I'll do right now is I'm just going to show you the parts that make up the of the turret since the bodies of the chassis or excuse me the chassis are all the same as all the other ones. There is no interior in this kit. It's just strictly a change of the turrets. So, with that in mind, the first thing we're going to look at is this sprue. This is the uh, the 20 mm barrels. You can see they're slide molded right there. And this is the back portion of it cuz right here we have the two turrets and this one is for the two 37 millimeters this one is for the uh, the 20 millimeters here and that was that little back panel right there so you can see actually I, both of them are pretty cool I kind of like the 37 millimeter ones a little bit better and finally the other one the other sprue is this one this makes up the bottom of the turret and also has the 37 millimeters in it which show you the end one of them has is in the box right now but they are completely hollowed through and hollow in every direction just beautiful the way they molded those muzzle brakes and this kit has a retail of about fifty dollars in the united states here is another new kit. This one is from Academy. This is the uh, the Panther, the Panzer Kampfwagen 5 G version, and this is built up to be the last production variant on it. And the the Academy kits are going to be obviously a little bit easier, especially for for beginner models. There won't be as many parts to start off with. We have four sets of this sprue right here, which are your wheel sprue, your uh, suspension arms and a few of the other little exhaust pieces things like that but you do get four of those so that is primarily the bulk of actually the sprues because after that there's only three other sprues in here we've got our turret our barrel is molded as one piece the muzzle brake is slide molded right here so you do have to just put the cap on there and you'd have a nice hollow muzzle brake and here's like the the in the heater for the back on the goes on the engine deck. This is the uh, the hull, and the hull is made up as you can see here of multiple pieces. These are the skirts here for the side, and they are made up of pretty thin plastic right there. So that's that's nice. And finally, we have the upper part of the hull, which you can see they've gone ahead and built the radiators right into place here so you'll just be putting the uh, the grates over it at least you'll be able to see a little something underneath there when it comes time to put all that stuff on there and finally are the tracks I'll let you see those up close and so we have a Lincoln link style track there are some push pins that you need to get rid of on the bottom down here and you get four sets of those. And also there is some photo etch inside here too. So we have all of the engine grills 
for uh, all six of them are on the back there as well. The retail on this kit is about $50 in the United States, and from what I understand, they should be out very, very soon. Okay, another new kit that has just come out, and this is a big boy. This is the uh, Trumpeter Russian S300V SAM missile launcher in 35th scale, and as you can see, it's a monster box. And what I'm going to have to do is, I have to apologize, I only have a couple of these came in, and all of them are spoken for, so until I get my next batch in, I can show you the, the parts, but we're going to have to look at them through the bags. But we'll just give you a general idea of, you know, the basics on the kit. So this is this is the overall body, so you can see how long it is. It's about a foot long, just for the uh, the hull. And then we've got the lower lower part right there. We've got our, we have our missiles right here. They are all slide molded, ready to go, as well as the missile tubes. These are pretty cool the way these are molded up right here. This is all ready to go and also some of the other parts of the uh, of the missiles. And the last other little part I'll just show you too is is the uh, the radar system unit. That's all molded as one big piece too. Lots and lots of detail on it. So this kit as you can see has lots of parts, over 1200 parts and these are available right now. They retail for about 170 in the United States. And the last airplane to show you is the Kinetic Gold M346. Now you guys may remember back in August I had gotten a uh, early sample copy of this. Not a complete one, but uh, almost all of it. And now the kit is actually available and will be showing up all over the country and all over the world. Another airplane kit that has come out from Kitty Hawk is the 48 scale Russian Yak-130. And one thing I do want to show you on this is they do give you a pair of resin figures. There's lots and lots of sprue parts in here, but these really jumped out at me as being really beautiful resin figures to go inside the, uh, the kit. And these are available now, and they have a retail of about uh, $60. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick rundown of all the new kits that have just recently come out. One I did forget to mention during the, the middle of the video is this brand new one from Hobby Boss. This is the 35th scale M911 HET. This is a big heavy tank transporter, modern day stuff. And this one retails for about $150 in the United States. And also I should point out too, I kept mentioning throughout here what the retails are. And the retails that I'm mentioning are the actual manufacturer's retails. You will easily be able to find them for less money than that. I know we sell for less than manufacturer's retail all the time on all these products. Also, the other one I want to mention to you too are the three new Wingnut Wing Limited Edition kits. And we've recently just got these in too. These are ones that I would highly recommend as well. These are just like the, the Richthofen D5 Albatross. These are the same thing. They have the resin figure inside to emulate the, uh, and the markings I should, to, to show off the, the actual model that would have matched that actual figure. So we have a Fokker E2 Max Emmelman. We have an AMC DH2 Leno Hawker. This, is, this one's got a lot of rigging on this airplane right here. And finally, we have a Sopwith triplane with Raymond Kalashaw. Another one with lots and lots of rigging. So if you guys enjoy rigging, uh, these last two are probably really for you right there. Lots and lots of uh, rigging on those. Well, it is a dreary, rainy day here in uh, Glendale, Arizona, and I'm going to start building one of those model kits right now. I think it's probably going to be that uh, the transporter in 70 seconds ago. That one really intrigues me. Plus, I'll also what I'll do is I've gotten lots of requests to show the inside of my store because as the channel has grown, people don't realize that I actually have a hobby store. I know it sounds weird, even though it's in back of me every single time I do a video, but what I thought I would do is take a couple of minutes and just give you a quick little walking tour of the entire store uh, and show you what it is. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned. We have many more videos coming, and stay tuned for the walk around. Okay, what I thought I would do right now is take a couple of seconds and give you guys a quick tour of my hobby shop. Our hobby shop is located here in Glendale, Arizona, and I know I get to see quite a few of you guys from around the country and around the world who come in and visit. And for all of you guys who don't, uh, I thought I'd give you a quick little tour. I know we get lots of requests to show the inside of the store, so I thought I'd throw it into the, uh, the end of this video. 
as you first walk through this this section right here is where we keep all of our collections on our discount rack and what i mean by that is we buy out all the time uh, people's model collections if they're not going to be doing armor anymore if they're changing into airplanes we buy out their kit collection and sell them at a really good price right up front so that rack changes constantly then we come right over in here and we've got our our little book section here and some of the bigger models up on top but before we go down into the store this is the uh, the little YouTube studio and you've got our big TV right there with the uh, the video cameras all over it and all of my modeling supplies and now it's a little mess right now because we've got all the camera equipment and lights out up in the corner up there we've got our silver play button and all of the uh, 3d printers and then down in there too we've got some more of all the builds as well as in this tall cabinet but let's just go take a quick walk around here and I have to admit I am running out of room the amount of inventory I've been getting in lately is just piling up to the uh, to the ceiling up in here so in this area here we've got all of our armor kits plus some of our newer paints like we have the lucky varnishes and the oil brushers one and two and we also have like the oil streakers coming out some of our value gear product just little accessories things like that glue and then on this side we have all of our armor and I've got armor from all kinds of companies Ming, Tamiya, Tacom uh, Dragon, Hobby Boss, Amusing Hobbies, Atallery, Mini Art, you name it. We've got all kinds of stuff in there. And we just got an order in a couple of days ago, kind of filling up all of this stuff. Over on the other side is our giant wall of aircraft. You can see we've got all of our wing nuts. We've got in our Airfix, Tamiya, Academy, Hasegawa. We're actually expecting a couple of big orders of aircraft to come in too. I mean, it's full right now, but once these orders come in, the stuff will be stacked almost to the ceiling. And we want to walk on back here. More Tamiya, more Dragon, or Trumpeter, I should say. Dragon's down there on the bottom. And back here, we've got our sci-fi stuff, which this has just been going crazy for me lately. We've got some really big orders of that coming in. That's going to fill it up. Back here, we have all of our model ships. And then as we come around the corner, we got our 40A scale, our mini tanks, and some more 72nd scale. Over here, we've got our wall of paint, or part of our wall of paint. You can see as it's going down here, we've got Tamiya, our, still have our model master racks, our big new rack of mission models, some Tamiya, some of the Vallejo pigments and washes, some of the metal effects, and then I should take this picture first pull back a little bit this is all of our car section so lots and lots of model cars here as well kind of just walk through here and then we've got a little bit more of display pieces down here tools all through this area and then right on back to the front again so you can see that's that's it in a nutshell and uh, I look forward to many more of you guys coming in and coming in and visiting